We're Lindsay live at five. Turk. I'm Paul and Turk. I'm Lindsay Sullivan. This is Lindsay. Hello. She's not usually on live at no. five. It's very exciting. Beth is on vacation. She is. On She's vacation. off on a beach, so we're annoyed. Uh, but we're thrilled <laughs> to have Lindsay here. Yes. Uh, so Lindsay gathered some. Oh, Taylor Lauderman's here, you guys. Taylor Lauderman is here. Kinky boots. Kinky boots. Uh, we love her. Yes. Bring it on. Your pen live. All that stuff. Yes. Anyway, she's awesome, and she looks really pretty. Yeah, she does. She looks really trendy. But enough yeah. about her. Yeah, so we'll we get have to her. lots of news today. So another great Broadway blonde that we love, Betsy oh. Wolf, is joining Justin Vivian Bond to star in a benefit concert of Tales of the City. Yeah, you're, the you're bearing the lead. Box. Tales of the City. Though. Tales this, of the this City is, like is, this is exciting. Thing. <laughs> well, yeah, the Tales of the City books, Armistead Maupin's, you know, series yes. from the 70s, 70s, yes. 70s. Um, <laughs> they've been there's been a musical development forever, and it, it yeah. premiered in like 2011. And yep. Betsy was in it. Yes, she played Marianne, which yes. is a very famous role. She's yes. the hero. She's the the lead girl who wanders into crazy San Francisco and meets everyone. And uh, so anyway, the, it, the musical kind of died after yeah. out of town, unfortunately, or it was stalled, or we've just been kind of waiting. Gotcha. And now it's coming. It's coming for one on. night. Yeah, March 27th. Be there. Um, and I'm not going to be in town. So I'm actually uh, furious. That yeah, is really I have a tri- I have a trip, so I'm hoping that maybe there'll be another performance. Hopefully, I mean we'll see. If it... <laughs> Can we do it twice? Can I go to rehearsal? Uh, You'll be there. Yeah, but it's for the Eugene O'Neill Theater Center and the Trevor, Trevor Project. Project. Yeah. And also, also Justin Vivian Bond yes. is in it. I'm assuming playing Mrs. Madrigal, but I don't have a confirmation of that. But yes. um, anyway, that's exciting. It's gonna be awesome. What's so, going on, Lindsay Lohan? Lindsay Lohan wants to play Ariel in the live action. Who doesn't movie? want to play Ariel? Exactly. She kind of went to Instagram and said, this is a thing that I want to do. So she wants the Beauty and the Beast director, Bill Condon, to direct. Well, I think she knows Bill Condon probably is directing it because he's doing Beauty and the Beast. So she probably was like, my dream director would be the one that's doing it. Uh, (laughs) I don't know about this. I feel like we know a lot of redheads or people who could go red or Taylor Louderman or anyone. (laughs) I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of people that we would love yes. to see play Ariel. And, but, but anyway, <laughs> Lindsay, um, I appreciate that you're yeah. interested in musical <laughs> theater and show tunes. And maybe, I don't know, are there any other female roles in that movie? I think Ursula. Ursula the Sea Witch, yo. Oh, my God. For who her? will play Ursula? Oh, my God. Who? That's going to be major. That'll be epic. I'm excited <laughs> for it. Okay, so anyway, we'll wait. We're going to hold our breaths, and we're going to wait on that. Very excited. So um, Come From Away is getting a cast recording. It's going to be the first cast recording released by the musical company. Right. Um, It's going to be available digitally and at the Gerald Schoenfeld Theater, where it's playing on March 10th, but everyone can It's now in previews. It's on in previews now. Yeah, it started over the weekend. And everyone can get it on March 24th. And it's very folksy, which I didn't expect. Have you seen it? I heard Oh, the music. Yeah, so we have an exclusive video. No, it is. Well, it's about people in Gander. Like uh, okay. Nova Scotia, yeah, I got in you. Newfoundland. The, yeah, the, the, yeah. It's I was, very, it's I very the background like, music. I'm like, I'm getting once vibes. What's going on? But it's, interesting. It's cool. There might be some vibes from yeah. once in there. Okay, <laughs> I like folksy. Yeah. Um, grosses came out today. Those are up on the site. Jeremy Hansen had an awesome week. Pretty huge. huge. So 102.69 percent capacity. It's in the million dollar club now. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's becoming kind of a regular in the big five for capacity. Which it's is, huge, yeah. German Hansen. People are going nuts, especially with the cast recording out It's now. officially enormous. Yes. And other stuff picking up, I don't know, it's off-Broadway. Joan of Arc Into the Fire has extended again at the public theater. Why um, is everyone so excited for this? Because it's, it's rock and roll, right? Yeah, well, it's Alex Timbers. Right. Is, it's, yeah, people love Alex Timbers. Um, and so it was one of our Save the Date picks for Broadway.com. Naturally. So, Why wouldn't it be? Obviously. And yeah, it was originally only supposed to go until April 2nd. But I'm curious about this Joe Lampert. Joe Lampert. So Joe Lampert is... She's playing is Joan of Arc. And she looks really Joan cool in the photos. She's very cool. So she I is, don't know her. When's she coming I, alive at five? Exactly. Yes. Book. Come on, Joe. Book her. Yes. Um, she home. does a really good... She, there's like a Beyonce cover um, and like a Yeah, Yeah, Yes mashup that she really? does on the YouTube. Oh, you've been searching I've her? I've been stalking her. She's cool. Oh, yeah, she's okay. kind of a multi-talented singer-songwriter, Brooklyn Knight. Abigail yes. said Taylor would make a great Ariel, so... Yes. Yeah. The votes Victoria are said, yeah, Victoria said Sierra? But yeah, yes. Sierra Pagas, yeah. Yes. That's right, got it. All right, Major Attaway. Major Attaway, what a name, yes. what a name. Yes. Major um, Attaway has the best name in show business other than... Beanie, Beanie Feldstein. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Beanie Feldstein. <laughs> the best, the best <laughs> musical theater. Beanie Feldstein and Major Attaway have the best names. Can they start like a hip-hop group? Sure. I'd be really into that. Beanie Attaway. <laughs> um, uh, so wait, Major Attaway is who? The genie. Oh, yeah, he's the genie yeah. in Aladdin because he, uh, I go heart left yeah. um, over the weekend. Yes. And uh, congratulations, tonight's his first performance. First show, so He's done it before. Yeah, so he's been the standby for yeah. the Sultan and 
Jean. But now he gets to like move into the yeah. dressing room. Yeah. Oh yes. You know, when you get the job, that's when you really get to like bring your stuff and your yes. pictures, right? Absolutely. And wallpaper, maybe they let you wallpaper. I don't know. <laughs> I know if you're like... <laughs> all right, all right. Awesome. So then we also have our odds and ends with uh, Emma Watson is singing Belle. So all you Beauty and the Beast fanatics can definitely take a look at that. It's hard for me to watch the Beauty and the Beast footage because it's so... Because they're recreating moments from the animation. Sure. Yes. But it's like, it's just hard for me to like... I need to see the whole thing and like sort of like take get, it all get lost in, in it. But watching yes. it in clips, I'm kind of like, what's happening? She's a real person. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, so there's that. And then we also have Kate Blanchett is singing at the Stonewall that's Inn. That's amazing. She is dripping with diamonds and drag queens. and she's, I'm That's a gay bar, everybody. The iconic yes. gay bar. And um, she's doing it up. She is. She what, looks, do we know what inspired that performance? Yeah, I, or? Don't, I don't know. if it, I found it on YouTube. I don't know if it was. Or Kathy Henderson, our awesome. <laughs> God bless her. I love, I'm, I'm so I happy. Like, that's, oh, awesome. I just took the camera. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. Now I'm going to watch it shake on here because it's delayed. And as far as features to check out, um, we have a one-on-one -on -one up with Tony and Pulitzer Prize winner Tracy Letts, yep. whose man from Nebraska is off Broadway right now. Oh, wait, but we forgot the Lion King news. The Lion King. Donald Glover, Donald right? Glover, yes. Donald Glover Simba. is playing Simba. And James Earl Jones will reprise his role as Mufasa. Oh, and I also want to brag about, um, I saw Patti LuPone today. Yes. I just always love to brag about Absolutely. when I get to see Patti LuPone. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, there was a press <laughs> event for uh, War Paint. And Patty LaPone, Christine Ebersole, it's her birthday. Happy birthday, Christine Happy Ebersole. Birthday, Christine. So there were cupcakes and stuff. And, Jelly, um, do you have a cupcake today? I'm super... So no, jealous. I didn't eat one. I, I wasn't offered one, actually, but I was celebrating her birthday anyway. Oh um, but, uh, yeah, I'm excited for War Paint. Awesome. And I have a pop poll actually going up because I asked all of the um, War Painters. Uh, I don't know what you're supposed to call. Like We haven't figured oh, out like, what, like, what are War Paint fans <laughs> called. I don't know. Uh, I asked them all their top beauty products, yes. beauty tips. Ooh. And Patty Lapone like has had the same one since like 1980, so and she's still using it and it's still working. So you can look for that. that Express video. mail, buy it immediately, whatever it is. And it's a classic product. It's <laughs> very Patty. I love very it. Very excited. Anyway, awesome. thank you so I'm much, Lindsay. Here. Thank you. Let's bring Ms. Taylor Louder. Oh my God, you stuck. Yeah, no, stuck. I'm good. Literally stuck. <laughs> Taylor Louderman. Hi, we have an audience. <laughs> they didn't tell you about the audience? No, I love that. <laughs> it's available at Target. Yeah, we should really it. buy them for a guest <laughs> as a giveaway because everybody always wants them. How are you? I'm great. How are you? You look pretty. Oh, thank you. Speaking of war paint, you're very, like, very made up yeah, and good. Well. It's good makeup, good hair. Thank you. I love the it's hair sweet. color. It's like really it's it's so new. blonde right it's now. It's new. Bumble and bumble. Oh, I love it. Thanks. Um, oh, my God. How are you? How's your life? It's so good. It's so good. You're in like a big Broadway smash. I know. I love it. <laughs> Does um, it feel good to uh, to be going in every day? To like, Because I, I actually walk by uh, that theater, the Al Hirschfeld, uh -huh. often. Uh -huh. I haven't seen you out there yet, but no, I'm, I'm we'll looking see, we'll for see. you all the time. <laughs> but uh, there's always like a crowd. Yeah. There's always like a line. You know, certain theaters have a line. There's always a Kinky Boots line. They yeah. line up, and they love it. It's still popping. Yeah, um, it's still popping. Yeah, and, and even some of our original cast members are still in the show, yeah. which I love. Um, but I'm having a blast. You are Lauren. I'm Lauren. Uh, I uh, get to play I, the quirky, funny girl. Right. And I come on and I do, you know, one fun song, and then I get to fart around on stage the rest of the show. Because, you know, like, I'm try I was thinking, like, I haven't seen you do that many, like, crazy comedy things. That's right. Right? That's right. Because, I mean, I first knew you from Bring It On. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. <laughs> Delayed reaction. <laughs> <laughs> and then you were Wendy. In yeah. Peter Pan Live. Yeah, she does, she's not cracking up many jokes. No, she's not. <laughs> she's not so when I first heard your name for this, I thought, oh, oh, wow. Oh, that, hmm, interesting choice. Yeah, but, but I love that. <laughs> so we, have you been kind of waiting to show everyone that you have this like fun side to yeah. yourself? Yeah, comedy is a new thing I didn't really know I could do. And really? I, I was actually going in for a lot of TV stuff when they were like, uh -huh. hey, she's uh, she's pretty funny. Let's keep bringing her in for that. Right. And then I thought, oh, I'm funny. They think I'm funny. <laughs> and now I love it. Right. Oh, it's, but it's once you talk fun. when you're funny, then you're funny. Like, oh, officially. It's like, once you do it, like, she's like, she's funny. I'm not claiming to be funny. You should come see the show and find out for yourself. But Lauren is such a lovable mess, right? Yes. What's, she, what's her issue? She's just oh working at the shoe factory, no. trying to find a man. Yeah, she's a working class gal, and um, she's got this history of wrong men in her life, and then Charlie comes along. And Charlie. She, she tries to get with him, and maybe she does, maybe she doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, mean, I don't know how much of a spoiler it is. Uh, 
<laughs> but uh, and then you get that great song. Yeah. Oh which my is gosh, so which fun. is such a Cindy Lauper ish yeah. song, right? Oh, yeah. Like you kinda have to do that little like do you do those little like Lauper esque I, I try, yeah. quirky moments. Mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah. Um uh, Madeline actually chimed in a little ago and said, "Actually, I'm going to play Ariel." Mad- so, Mad- Madeline Lloyd, congratulations! Oh, I'm so um, jealous. <laughs> uh, Joyce said, "Taylor is the best." Oh, thanks, Joyce. That's I so agree. Sweet. I think I think you're pretty great. Um, <laughs> Thank you. What is what has been your favorite thing about be, sort of being part of the Broadway community? And is this was this like your dream when you were a little girl? Oh, absolutely. Where'd you grow up? I grew up in Bourbon, Missouri, super small town where the cattle population exceeds the human population. And you know what? It's kind of weird. The only thing I ever wanted since I was 10 was to originate a role on Broadway. And that happened for me no, you did that way really early. sooner than I thought. Check that off. Yeah, and then okay. you were like, now what do I do? Yeah, well, <laughs> no, it was, it was a dream come true. Yeah. But at age 21, that kind of leaves you a little bit like, ugh. What do I want mm, now? What mm-hmm. do I do? So it took me a kind of it took me a while to get back on my feet, yeah. and so to be where I am now, doing Kinky Boots, um, a show that's been a hit with people I love, a character I love. Now I really feel like okay, this this is part of that dream come true too. It's great. It's funny you said that about Bring It On though, because whenever a show comes with so many broad, I mean, how many Broadway debuts are in that 32? show? Thirty-two. Crazy. Yeah. That, that's like insane. I like, think it's set the record. Yeah. And then I always think, oh, God, what's going to happen when it closes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> because everyone gets, like, a taste of Broadway. Yeah. And, oh, my gosh. And then it's like, oh, wait, now the business right. of this. Yeah. Right? Uh, I'm not afraid to say that I went through a little bit of a depression after that. I, I mean, appreciate when that you you're have, honest you know, like that. Yeah, so anyway, but there were a lot of cheerleaders too in the show that weren't necessarily interested in doing Broadway forever. So oh right, that's yeah, oh that's right. Days. I forgot about those crazy cheerleader people. Crazy cheerleader people. <laughs> they were like throwing things. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I people totally forgot people. about yeah. that. <laughs> uh, what's it like doing the Broadway Princess Party? <laughs> Kate and is asking. That's become a thing at Fifty Four Below. Yeah, you were in it. You did. Uh, yeah, I've done. What I've did done you do? All of the. Oh, you did all of them. Tangled. I did Tangled. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Um, I don't know. You know what? The best part about the Princess Party is all my new girlfriends that. I have, who are like Broadway beautiful girlfriends. girlfriends on Broadway. That's my favorite part. Um, Alec wants to know: Have you met Cindy yet? Cindy no, Walker. I haven't gotten to meet. I haven't met. Well, you know, they're, they've got this five-year long-running show. They'll check in every once in a while, but I've only been there. Just months. stop it, Cindy. Stop <laughs> it. How are the drag queens? How are the angels? The angels, I love. I always it. wonder what that dressing room is like. Aren't they all in one dressing room? Yeah. Is it fun down there? Oh my god! Or up there, wherever it is. They're a blast. They're divas, and I. love Love every second of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You naturally enjoy being around. Like, are you like Kate Blanchett in well, that way? I'm kind of intimidated by them sometimes. Really? I try to fit in, you know, but <laughs> it's and, fun. and you have some great leads right now, too. So yes. who else is enjoying you over there? Um, Todrick Hall. So, yeah, Todrick is finishing his run, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. He's got a couple weeks couple left. more weeks, yeah. And What's it been like getting to know him? Did you know him before? Oh, my God. No, I didn't know him before. Uh-huh. Um, he's a blast. He's a blast. He's a genius. I mean... Every night in the show, I hear him just singing along to stuff that he's not even supposed to be singing in. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> but it's, like, improv beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Nice. And he's a nut. He's, like, got a party in his dressing room before every show. And you have a British onstage boyfriend. Irish. Oh, Irish. I'm uh-huh. sorry. Well, I'm he, sorry. He, See, I make this mistake all the time. I'm, like, <laughs> such a dumb American about this stuff. It's Irish. He, he originated um, Charlie Price in London. Right. It's Killian Dunn. Yeah, he was all, I saw him in Memphis in London. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's super talented. He's so talented. Yeah. He's so good at what he does. Yes. How, how's he doing in the heels? And is it fun to watch the boys put, all put, put on the heels? Oh, my gosh. And the, it's a blast. Yeah. And one of them even wears, like, short shorts with long, long short shorts. I'm pointing. You can't yeah, see. Yeah, like, what are you like, pointing at? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, my gosh, I love Okay, it. Hannah, we already talked about Tadra Call. We like mm-hmm. him. Yeah, we uh, know. Leah wants to know, what was it like working on Peter Pan Live? Do you keep in touch with any of those cast members? Yeah, I do. A lot of the Lost There's Boys. There's a lot of them. A lot of the Lost Boys are in the Broadway community, so yeah. we're always, I yeah. like, went to a birthday You knew party. a lot of them before. Yeah, I right. do, yeah. Um, and then Allison, well, we have, like, a group text thread with the Lost oh, Boys plus Wendy. Oh, there's a I want to somehow get, I love that all the, I just heard about the Newsies group. Oh, I'm sure. I want to sort of like get an end to all. Wouldn't it be great to have like a secret phone to add all of those newsies were our last voice. Was it the same group (laughs) text? Is it the same thing? Yeah, you're right. I'm not on the newsies. (laughs) But Allison Hmm. will chime in everyone. You know, I don't hear a lot from Christopher Walken, which is weird. Uh, Deborah said, JHG is amazing. He's going to rock Broadway. That's the next level. Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, just just announced. Yeah. What about Allison Williams? 
Oh. Do you have, have you seen her since Peter Pan? Uh, I've run into her once, like, for a concert or whatnot, but uh -huh. she's on our group that I don't know. Oh, she's in there. Don't worry, she's in there. She's, chat she's chatting. <laughs> yeah. She's chatting. Don't worry. <laughs> we keep uh, up to date. Jen wants to know what was it like working with Lynn, Manuel Miranda, on oh. Bring It On? Well, Lynn is a genius who's also an amazing person. Maybe an EGOT pretty soon. Ye oh, my in gosh. In addition to everything else. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine? Crazy. He deserves every ounce of this. I mean, he's a genius. I recall um, lunch breaks during Bring It On where we'd all go out and uh, improv rap. And uh, it'd get around the circle. And, you know, Lynn does his. And everybody's like, oh, my gosh. It's amazing. Right. And then he'd get to me. And I would do, like, three lines. And then, dig it, Lynn. Because he's so good at just it. Just super awkward. Yeah. Oh, well, what? <laughs> it was, um, it was um, awkward, like, when you had to do that. <laughs> yeah. I just I want to see a video of that. <laughs> me rapping? Not good. Uh, what are your dream roles? This question comes up often. Yeah. Um, dream big. You know what? The, the dream role is originating. That's when you really right. get to like put your stamp on something. You get to really create. You own a character. So you're excited when opportunities to do like readings or workshops come along. Yeah, absolutely. Because you're like, this is cool. Yeah. So you get to be in. Actually, Patty Lapone said that to me today. Did she? Yeah, because she said for War Paint, it's the first time that she's really genuinely been involved with something mm. so early on mm. that she had like a real and that they cared about what she said yeah and that she really liked that so she said that at this point in her career right. she's finally had the opportunity i didn't mean to like change the subject to Patty no Lepone. please i do get a little me. like dazzled <laughs> around it's her Patty <laughs> but it's true that's yeah. the dream you know yeah. what i mean i mean playing movie star musicals you know playing a character that everyone knows and loves is fun too right um but getting to make it your own is a blast all right lauren wants you to name three you don't have to the, the, you don't have to think too hard about this, but three favorite cast recordings. Like, what are the three that just sort of jump out in your life that well, you just love? I really love Dear Evan Hansen now. That's been a big blast. And then Bridges in Madison County. Oh, stop oh. it. Stop it. Oh. Uh, stop. I love it. And then what's, I don't know, like one that I would sing along to. I love Aida. And then Legally Blonde was like the one that I would sing in my car on my way to rehearsal all the time, just screaming. Okay. Well, you had really good right. answers for that. What? You get good answers. You're like really on it. With oh, you actually had good. Most people just go like, I don't know. Oh, I don't really know. Uh, really Bridges of Madison County. I I, oh. I, 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 sing that entire Stephen Pasquale role. Yeah. In the car alone. Yeah. Oh, Maybe a dog so hears me. Good. That's it. <laughs> but that's just Robert Brown stuff. It's good, right? It's really good. So good. Yeah, it makes me melt. Uh, what else do you want people to know? Anything? Anything you're dying for the world to know? The world is watching. Um, no, I mean... She's I'm, really happy. I'm really She's happy. on Broadway. Yeah. She's in a big hit at the Al Hurst Club. Kinky Boots, everybody. Uh, this is Taylor Louderman. She plays Lauren. Uh, maybe you'll say hi to Stage Door. Absolutely. Come yeah, on by. Yeah. Cool. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank I always you for love having talking me. to you. Of thank course. You, and we'll be back tomorrow at 5 with another awesome guest. I'm going to leave with some applause.